Hey guys, I'm Adam, and today I'm going to show you how you can save a boatload of money on a stainless steel countertop that'll give your kitchen a really high-end look. But first, let's cut some wood. I'm leaving this thing long, this track long, because I've got to cut another one of these out. And I don't feel like detaching and reattaching them. So if this video is about saving a boatload of money on a stainless steel countertop, why am I cutting sheets of plywood? Well, we recently finished, well, we've almost finished an addition on our house for my parents to live in. And that was a nightmare in itself that I'll do a video soon on to uh, give you some warnings about dealing with contractors. But the plywood is essential to making this countertop work and I'll show you why. We called around and I checked online at places that did stainless steel countertops. And if you've ever done that, you'll find that they run anywhere from 70 to $100 or more a square foot. I called a sheet metal fabricator and got a price on doing the stainless steel from them. So what they can do is, and that's what we've done in this case, is they can shape the stainless steel, they can wrap plywood or as the way I've done it is, I've gotten just a shell and I've given them the dimensions and all I have to do is make a, a, a fiberglass. I've got to make a fiberglass base. I've got to make a plywood base for the stainless steel countertop to go on. So that's what I'm doing here now. And I specified that I wanted the countertop just a hair over an inch and a half thick. Two sheets of plywood should come up to just a hair under an inch and a half. But by the time I glue it up, and by the time I put the glue on the top of the plywood to hold the stainless steel down, it's gonna be a little bit thicker. Okay, so after putting the glue down, which to be honest with you is not even really that necessary, I'm gonna screw these pieces together. I just did the glue to make it extra strong because of the overhang, but really the screws will hold it just as well. So before I run the router over it, now is the time to check and make sure there's no screws sticking up because if you stick your stainless steel down and there's a screw sticking up, you're the one that's gonna be screwed. <laughs> oh, anyway. So to glue the stainless steel down to my plywood base, I'm going to be using power grab. Ultimate! But uh, I've never actually used this particular one before, but that red is just so eye-catching. I had to purchase it. Uh, last time I did this, I actually used contact cement and it worked perfect. But one time we'd set a hot pot on it and the stainless went and popped up and we put some ice on it and it popped back down. So. Hopefully this will hold up even better. That held up perfectly fine other than that one instance. Nonetheless, we're gonna give Power Grab a try. first. All right, 
Thank you, Storm. And I can see already that it's a good thing that I put those spacers up underneath there because this is, hang this is overhanging the plywood just a smidge. So now that the stainless steel top is glued to the plywood base, I'm anxious to get it into the kitchen, remove the covering, and see how good this looks. Uh, the only problem is this thing's a little bit heavy, so I'm gonna need some help. Storm, can you come, can you, come here, Storm. Hey, can you, uh, can you give me a paw getting this into the, uh, the kitchen? This thing's kind of heavy. I'll give you one whole chicken leg quarter. Girl, you're looking a little thick since the lockdown. I had to adjust your collar twice already. <laughs> Bite me. <laughs> that makes daddy sad. That makes daddy sad when you talk to me like that. <laughs> okay, Storm, I can get it by myself. Thank you. you. Okay, hold this while I screw it in. Before we brought the countertop in, I went ahead and pre-drilled through all the corner braces on the cabinets. Just be careful you don't use a screw that's too long. So one thing you do have to keep in mind when you do a stainless steel countertop is that it will scratch. That's just part of it. When we did our first one, maybe eight years ago or so, we did it right before Halloween, carved a pumpkin on it, immediately scratched it, lost our minds, and then realized that's just part of the patina. Eventually, it'll get so scratched up, you don't even see the scratches anymore. This countertop is about 24 square feet, and I have $600 in it. If you bought this from a stainless steel countertop company, you'd probably pay more than $1,000 for this. You thought it was all a joke, didn't you? <laughs> well, it wasn't. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you next time, guys. Bye.